What is up guys, Rob here at Bob Evans Classics. If you like classic cars, please hit the subscribe button. You can see all of our new inventory as we get in every week, and you can watch me and Chris go out and chase classic cars. Please subscribe today. We'll see you then. Let's go. What is up guys, Rob here at Bob Evans Classics. If you like watching us go after classic cars and chase them, please hit the subscribe button. On this episode, we have a beautiful 1965 Mustang Fastback we're gonna be chasing. It's a little bit special. You'll see it when we get there. Again, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see all of our classic cars as we go out and chase them and as we sell them and also put notifications on. See you when we get there. We're good, we're almost here. You're wasting our battery, Shups. Together when we're done with them. Well, I wish I would have known I'd have put my makeup on I'm today. I'm Rob. How you doing, Mike? This is my son, I'm Jake. Jake. Hey, buddy. How you doing? He's my youngest. Nice to meet you. Hi. Buying this one for you? Nice uh, to meet I you. Hope, I wish. Huh? I Hi, wish. buddy. How nice to meet, nice to meet you. So give me a little bit of background about it. I bought the car a little over two years ago. I had a little bit of work done up here to shop. I'm not a wrench turner. Yep. And kind of figured out you don't buy classic cars unless you know how to work on them. We bought a cabin, so the car is going to sit even more than what it has. In the last two years, I've only put about 50 miles on it. Oh, wow. I've been to the gas station twice and to the garage and back. A lot. And I've done around the block, I think, one time. So I just don't have time. Intent was take it to car shows, sit out there on the weekend and talk to people about cars. Mm -hmm. It's a black Mustang. It's a 1965. I don't know much more other than what the guy told me that I bought it from. Just not a car guy. But it looks awesome. It's That's what I can tell you. Really good look to it. You guys have a light you can put on? Yeah. That's, is, that, is that enough? Yeah, that'll work. We'll, you can always pull it out. So, Jake, do you work on the cars too? Uh, I don't work on them. I just buy them with my dad. Are you going to work on them? No. no, not your thing. Just like looking at him, huh? You know, my oldest son's the same way. So Chris, really? Chris works for me. He's 19. He actually just went out and bought a Roadrunner today. And they love the business side of it, but they don't like the mechanical side of it. So we got a couple of wrenches that work for us. And but I wish one of the boys would get into it. But yeah, I, I don't like work on smells. cars. I take mine to get oil changed. And you can see the projects I have now. There's a split unit for the cabin we bought about eight weeks ago. Three and a half hours north of here, so I had the seat folded down. Somebody asked me if it had a rear seat, so that's the first time I actually folded it up. I saw a door over here sitting here. What's the story with that? So this is the original driver's door off of this car. Okay. Guy that I bought it from replaced that in the new door liners and everything on the car. Passenger side, that's the one I sent you the picture of the rust. Yep. Here's the new door for the passenger side, painted, painted to color match the, the car. Already striped, that's just dirt on it. So it just needs to be put on? Just needs to be installed, move the, move the glass, move the panel. Okay. I, I have called three or four local garages to install it for me and they don't, they said take it to a body shop. So. I'm just a little afraid because when you see that much rust, where else is the rust hiding? Have you had this car up in the air and all that? Oh yeah, I've had it. Bill Bauer has put it on. Nothing? They didn't find anything with nope. it? Okay. They, they've been over the car tip to tail. They've had it up there for 45 days the yes, first time they, they kept it up there. And then, they, I mean, they've done all the work since I've had it. Bill Bauer's. This is not terrible. I just will... Does the AC work? The AC compressor is laying right there. He took it off okay. the motor, I guess for the horsepower. This is what he sold me. And he dug that out of a dug that out of a trailer and handed it to me. He said it's the one that came off of this car. And he said everything was good. He just took it off. It smells like you had it running for a little bit. Yeah, I started about an hour ago. I took it yesterday and put a couple gallons of fuel in it fresh fuel okay front frame rails look good no issues there brand new radiator I and mean, then he's got this here that's just pretty cool to make it look like a 
Shelby. Does it have the original? No, it doesn't have the original tag on it. Let's see that. That radiator's new. So what you did? You did the power steering to it? Yep. Is that what you said? That radiator. Right. I replaced one of these. One of these had a... One of the wires? Yeah. I think it was... No, that one was a little short. That's not the one I did. But that's that's about the work I've done to it. Okay. The garage up there. Yeah, Brace the two, tires two, put on. No, two front tires. They, they were... Front tires matched the back tires whenever I got them. Okay. They rubbed. So I had no Bauer size what their program thing was. There's the two tires they took off, actually. And put these on. So okay. 50 miles on those. I bought these caps. They were missing whenever I got the car. Nice, a nice set of Shelby wheels would make this car look real nice. I have a, I have a set. I do, but I don't know if I want to put them on it. Because they're original Shelby wheels. Yeah. I have original Shelby wheels from the 60s. Wow. So I, it, was, it was off of a real Shelby GT500, so I don't know if to put it on this, you know? The, the wheels, wheels are really expensive, but it would give it a great look. Yeah. I'll look under here. Let's see. You said you already have a buyer who's interested in something. I have, a, I have buyers all over the country. Is it the paint scheme, the year? What is it that they look for? Uh, it being a fastback. Uh, so you got, you got two things, right? So one is fastback. Mustang fastbacks are, are insane. They're just, people love them. They're just a great car to sell. Right. Okay? What, what attracted me to this is the paint scheme. It looks like, are you familiar with the 350, the GT 350s? And the Hertz. The, the Hertz edition, yeah. right. So Hertz rent a car came out with these and they wanted them to be cool cars, high performance cars, and they wanted people to rent them and have fun with them. That was their, their whole deal. Show them that picture, it's pretty sweet. He does work with uh, people all over the world. Yeah. And he had some guys come in from Finland, I think. Yeah. And they had rented- Finnish military. They had rented a Mustang. Oh yeah. And it was the newer version, the newer of, version this. of this. Yeah, yep. so. I mean, there's the car where I bought it from. That was sitting in their driveway whenever I went and bought the car. Okay. But they, so uh, that was February 1st, 22, and it took me a couple of months to get the can deal we, done. Can you move this Jeep back so we can pull it out and get some natural light on it so I can look at the body? Sure. Find the right pictures here. If I can find it. I'm gonna fire it up real quick. Okay. You got the keys on it? Twenty-three or twenty-four. Yeah. It was a rental car. It had thirteen thousand miles on it. But my boss actually had me run home and get my car. That's cool. These guys just, like went back to their hotel and came back and did like different outfits for a photo shoot. It was funny. Yeah.
Now, does that other door have the tag on it? It's not. Yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, running really rich. Do you smell that exhaust? It smells like old car. Uh, I think it needs to be, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with it. It needs to either be a tune-up or adjustment to the carburetor. I'm not really sure. I'm just, right now, maybe it's cold. It's running really it's not like it's to be cold. cold. Nature. Like yep. It takes a couple minutes yeah. to warm up and it runs a lot better after it runs 10 minutes. Yep. It, it's been that way since I've, since I've had it. A little rust there, a little bit there. It's not a bad car. It definitely has a lot of good that's going for it. So they went over this car mechanically? Yep. Yeah, because it got a lot of oil here leaking too. And they didn't say anything about that? Do you see it right here? See a little... Yep, I see the oil. I mean, it's... Yeah, I thought... Hmm. I mean, like I said, I have not wiped this car down. Yep. I've not done anything to it but as it was sitting here. But they didn't fix anything. They didn't tell you anything about the oil leak or anything, right? No. Which I don't know why, unless it just recently developed. But you're not driving it. You have to put 50 miles on it. Since the last time it came out of the shop, it went about seven miles to get gas and seven miles back. How many times, no has, it, how many times has it been in the shop? Twice. Twice. And that was for specific upgrades. Okay. Yeah, so the first time I took it there was when I bought it. I took it up to the garage, right, I had them, them go over, over the it, car, right. front to back. They recommended brakes in front, had them install the power steering kit. They flushed and filled the radiator twice because it had a little bit of sludge in it or whatever, okay. so they flushed and filled it. Tires. They did the tires, the alignment. Wow. Yep. So you did a bunch of stuff to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Too much stuff, it seems like. So I did all that, and then brought it back, took it for a ride. Got hot pretty quick. Yep. Not pegged or anything. Got Called them and said, hey, how much would it cost for a radiator? When can you get the car in? A week later, it went up. They did the radiator. And I just looked at the paperwork, they did something else when it was there for the radiator. So radiator, the fluids. I don't remember. And something else when they had it there, she actually picked it up from the garage and it sat from then till yesterday. Took it out for gas. I mean, the car is not bad. It, it is what you said. My only concern is, and the only my only hesitation is, when we talked on the phone, you said this car's been through a shop, mm -hmm. and yep. the shop did the work, and they went over it mechanically. But they did not go over it mechanically, or or they didn't do their job right. Mechanically inclined. Yep. Like I said, Bill Bowers. They do work on all my cars. They're right up here around the corner. Never had. A I didn't come all this way not to buy it. I'll tell you that. I mean, I drove four hours. You know what I'm no, saying? No, I, I understand, and I know you had a couple other to look at too. Yeah, I looked at like ready. I said, I we had people who were scheduled to come Saturday, yep. and we turned them off because yep. he wanted to work with oh, you. Oh yeah, so. I want to work with him too. I, I'm just like I said, I wasn't. We didn't talk about anything like this. If I was told that, I would have. You know. Had, had we known? Yeah. We're just not car people. I understand. I completely understand. I'm just wondering, you know, it went to the shop, the shop should have told you. It's not your fault. I mean, my dad was a mechanic for 30 years yep. and he's looked at, he hasn't been one in 20, yep. but he's looked at it and said, runs pretty damn good for a car that was built and put on the road in 
actually went down to Baltimore. She would know exactly where it is when I was looking for a car. Made an appointment at the shop there by appointment only. Showed up, looked in the window, they had a convertible with this paint scheme on it. Waited an hour for the guy, I called him. Oh yeah, I'll be there in an hour. Waited another hour, he called him back. I'm not gonna be able to make it today. I got pretty hot and I'm like, I'm not going back. A couple weeks, got the itch again to look for a car. Called him back, signed a paperwork on it right now. So when I found this one, I jumped on it pretty quick trying to get the guy. And I don't know that he wanted to sell it, honestly. Because. Which like way is good to go? Uh, you can go either.
for the work they've done to this car. I got 15,000 receipts. That's when I determined you don't own classic cars unless you can wrench on them yourself. Or if you know the right mechanic. There's not one in this area. 15,000 for the work you told me? Holy. That makes sense now. Now, this, now everything's making sense. Okay. That's why they, okay. I got it. You have those receipts? Do they go with the car? Or? Oh, I'm, I'm sure I got the receipts. Just to see, the, just so I can, you know, the next owner, they can see the work that was done to it. I mean, it's 1500 bucks to put a radiator in. Our shop, we would charge you around 500. The radiator's 300, maybe 150 in labor, plus cooling. specialize in these cars. And that's the thing, there's nobody around here that specializes in classic cars. Everybody I know that has classic cars, working on their own projects, they can get to it in a year. Yeah. I'm not a patient kind of guy. Bought the car, wanted to have the car ready to go in case I want to get on the ride. So maybe some of that's on me that I paid that kind of money. Well, what I tell but, all, all I tell all my customers, when you buy a classic car, you better be prepared to fix it. Because unless you're buying a Resto mod where it's got a brand new engine, a LS1 in it, or a brand new Coyote, you're going to run into problems the more you drive it. They're just 50, 60 years old. The things come up. Now, I like to test drive all my cars, drive them, I like to put 50, 100 miles on them, so I know they're good cars. But you don't know what's going to happen in 500 miles or 1,000 miles, or, you know. And this car drives pretty straight. project did the work is actually right around the corner from my road, Bill Bowers Automotive. Right up there, they got a record in this car. And I'm not trying to knock them because I don't know the work they do and I don't know that they, again, they don't specialize in this car and they're trying to make a profit and I understand that. Yeah, I actually got a Christmas card after the first time I took it up there. I'm sure you did. But it's okay, I mean, you're living and learning. We'll see, what we can, see if I can bail you out of this car find a new buyer for it and move it on. It'll be your next right hand turn up here right before that gas station sign. The car drives great besides that. It's just. All the gauges look like they're working. Looks like it's getting up to operating temperature. AC, obviously, I would want to fix that. It's a nice thing to have. Yeah, it's an old car too. So yeah, this right hand turn. The brakes feel great, the power steering feels great. Well, I'll pay you what we agreed upon. We got a deal. Alright. Okay. Appreciate Sounds it. good. If you want to grab the title, we'll get some paperwork started and get you paid. Alright guys, we just bought this 65 GT350 tribute. It's a fastback, it's got 289 with K-code heads, high performance heads on it. It's got a nice cam. It's driver quality, it's got some flaws in the paint. It's not perfect. We have another door for it. It's got a little spot right there, which I don't think the door needs to be replaced because of that. It just doesn't shut great. So I don't know, I'll have Bill look at it when we get back to the shop, but it's clean, the undercarriage is clean. There's no rot, no rust on it. 
it drives great. It's a great driving car. It's an automatic. It's got AC, which is not hooked up. We'll get the AC hooked up. But overall, I'm definitely glad with the purchase. I think it looks good. We should make a couple bucks on it. We're not going to hit a home run on it, but we should make a good profit on it. Uh, client was very nice. He kind of got buried in the car. He bought the car and he got a, above his head in it. He put power steering. He did, uh, he did brake work to it. He did a bunch of stuff to it. And the shop, quite frankly, for a radiator, they charged him 1500 which was, I mean, for around here, I guess that's normal where we're from. They, we don't charge that kind of money. So he didn't know how to work on the cars itself, and that's kind of where the problem was. He got into a, a, a driving project that needed some work, and he just spent a lot of money to get where it is today. And now he bought a, a property, and so he sold it, and, and we're going to get it, get it back to the shop, go through it, make any corrections to it, and put it up for sale. So there it is. He already has the bar that is dedicated to his aircraft Too. That's why I was like, you can't well, notarize your own six, but if you're putting in your business name, 